بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد ايها الاحباب glad tidings for the brothers and sisters of Washington state because of the great ni'ma and blessings of the spread of the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so not only do we have beautiful landscapes such as this but we have also maraqis al-ilm like the markaz al-islami uh, abu bakr markaz al-islami uh, in washington state which is the islamic center of uh, the abu bakr islamic center of washington and there is one in seattle and there's one in tukwila and ayul ahbab the reason I mention this is due to the great khair that they spread in the community. Because how many students have memorized the Quran in that markas? And how many students have been blessed to gain fiqh fi deen in that markas? And how many lectures has the imam spread on tawheed and how to pray and tahara and hajj and fiqh fi deen? And all of this is in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said, Man yuridullahu bihi khayran yifaqahu fi deen. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion. And those places which spread the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, spread the khayr, spread fiqh fi deen, are places that are blessed, are places that should be supported with our wealth and our time and volunteering and and so forth. And the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Man salaka tariqan yal talmasuhu bihi ilman sahalallahu lahu tariqan ala jannah. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, then Allah will make easy for him the path of jannah. Again, showing us the importance of ilm. And the places of ilm where this knowledge is being uh, taught, where the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam is being taught, this is a great, great ni'mah and favor from Allah. And this is why we have to support it. Because Ahl bidah is ever active in supporting their places. They have money to support Ashari and Sufi places of learning. So in fact, those places are places of dala that misguide people. So when you have a place of the sunnah that teaches what Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what he propagated, and the Qur'an, and memorizing the Qur'an, then this is something alim and something that must be supported, if nothing else, in supplication. And the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, خَيْرَكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَّمَهُ That the best of you is those who learn the Qur'an and teach it. And as I said, how many Hufad ayyul ahbab have graduated from this Marcus Mubarak? Many. And they continue to do so. And they teach them Islamic studies. They teach them the books and Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah with the Dalil, which you find rare in this time and age, and especially in the West. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, From among the portents of the hour are the following. Religious knowledge will decrease by the death of religious learned men. Ignorance will prevail. There will be prevalence of open illegal sexual intercourse. Women will increase in number and men will decrease in number. So much so that 50 women will be looked after by one man. And this is collected in Bukhari in the Book of Knowledge. Ayul Ahbab. Do we not see the importance of supporting the places and the centers of knowledge and sending our children to those places and being a part of those uh, places and institutions that support Kitabillah and teach Kitabillah with Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Because the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said that these are from the signs of the hours that religious knowledge will decrease. And this is by the death of religious learned men. So we need to 
turn out more people who know, who have fiqh for deen, who spread the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal. And as the second thing the Prophet ﷺ said, religious ignorance will prevail. And this is what we see. How many callers to Jahannam do we see? How many people are calling to other than the Qur'an and other than the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah وسلم, and other than the Sabil al-Mu'mineen, the Salaf of this Ummah, Rahimahumullah Ta'ala. How many places are established and how many callers are there calling to this group and that group and that form of da'wah? So when we find a place that has barakah in it, that has the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, being propagated, we have to support it, ayah al-Ahbab. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless that Marcus Mubarak to keep going and bless the Imam and bless the the, the teachers and the uh, and bless the students and the families that support it and bless all those who are involved and everyone who steps into the masjid. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all to be a part of khair and a part of ilm wa fiqh fi deen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.